These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <laughs> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I hate starting reviews in cars. I just don't like starting reviews in cars, but an opportune time came up to start a review in a car, so that's what I'm doing right now with the Falcon Legend. This Falcon Legend has already been going for a week, at least five to six refills. It's been vaping good. It's loud. And the more like deep cloud chasey of a rip that I take, the louder it gets. The flavor on this, as far as I can tell, is really nice. Here's the problem. I filled this up with a liquid that I don't generally vape. This was like a blind tasting from the vlog. So I haven't necessarily been able to judge the flavor on this very accurately. It's undeniably rich, undeniably saturated. It's just that airflow is so freaking loud. Granted, I do have it closed down a little bit here. In fact, I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna set up a second one with a liquid that I have actually vaped a shit ton of so that I can accurately judge the flavor of this. Let's get there. Let's, let's go there now. Go to, go to the office. All right, Boosh, Falcon Legend, with a juice I know, Rebel Bogan Plum Job, let's go. Five mil capacity, and I guess one thing I don't understand is it comes with an M8, 0.15 ohm coil and also an M6 0.15 ohm coil, same resistance, same wattage settings, spare glass, spare O-ring, spare coil head. Here it is. As you can see, adjustable airflow on the bottom. It is very knurled in some very key spots. This knurling is always gonna line up whether it's closed or bouche open. I can grab this knurling and this knurling and twist the whole thing apart because this is an old school style sub tank where the coil head itself is what holds the tank together. Installed is the M8.15. These coil heads are actually really nicely labeled. And maybe my lighting is just bad but it says M8 clearly on there. And I was using the M8 in that blue one, but I wanna use the M6 in this one. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would say that these are identical coil heads down to the mesh in the middle. I mean, without seeing the M8 or the M6, you can't tell which is which, but the M6 goes in the base. And I always have to remember that there's no need to go really ham on this. It just needs to be, you know, like finger tight. Sometimes if I screw this coil head in too far, it compromises the integrity of the O-rings in there and actually leads to more leaking. Can use those knurled bits, get this together, give it a very hearty bleh. Boosh 9000, there it is. Airflow, depending on how I drag, is still really very loud. Okay, now that I have a new coil head and a new tank with a liquid I'm familiar with, I'm gonna keep using this. We're gonna keep this party going for at least another week, then I'll catch up with you, then we'll hand out some banana stickers. And for the official record, the Rebel Bogan Plum Job tastes, ding, really great in this. I think there's just always going to be something that I really like about a good, flavorful, reliable sub tank. I think I've said it before in this video. These coil heads are undeniably flavorful. Rebel Bogan Plum Job tastes delightful in here, has continued to stay delightful through at least eight to nine tank refills, continuously crispy, continuously voluminous chowds. If I drag really hard on this, it gets real, real loud. If I slow my roll and I back my drag off a little bit, kind of calms it down a little bit. It's still very audible and noticeable, especially it became comedic when Casey and I were trying to watch a movie and I would grab this and in the middle of the movie, you just hear <laughs> closing the airflow down. Yeah, that makes it even louder, especially if I drag really hard. And since I don't want to do that right now, I'm just going to say, I wish Horizon Tech had just meshed out this airflow and it would have been like a 10 out of 10 tank. I legitimately like everything else about this. I like the fit and finish. I like the big knurling. The bottom knurling helps me get it off the device. The top knurling, super helpful for opening to fill it. And then they all line up again like they're supposed to. Vape the tank completely dry on multiple occasions. There is a minimum line, but I've found if I keep the sub tank vertical and not let it kind of go to either side, you, you, you can push that minimum line a little bit. I think we're gonna land at nine 
banana stickers because I think this is genuinely the best sub tank that Horizon Tech has released so far. Some people will argue with me and say that the Sakers Sackers is their favorite. At the end of the day, I guess it is just subjective, but I personally feel impressed by the Falcon Legend. I think it's aptly named and I think it's a great sub tank. And this video has been going on for a month now. It's nice spending a long time with a device or a, a tank, really getting to know it. It's been a month, so I'm going to say goodbye to the Falcon, but I, I legitimately think I'm going to keep using this sub tank. Anyway, I'm rambling. I can't tell you how much these cost or where you get them, but I can tell you this. If you're currently a cigarette smoker, boosh, it's time to stop. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There's a world of safer nicotine products on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and then I'm going to smoke. So. And to my end of the video, people, are you a sub tank user? And what was your like chef's kiss, amazing favorite, like favorite, favorite sub tank from any time in vaping?